Hello everyone, welcome back to Talented Developer. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to convert file to byte array. So first of all, we need a file and using that file, we are going to convert into byte array. So I am keeping a file at that location and this file is inside my working directory slash src. So you can again see here, this is the file and these are the content of that file. So first of all, we need to get the file location. So what you can do, so either you can copy this path and put a statically inside one a string or you can use our earlier tutorial code so i am going to use our code using this code we can get the current working directory so let's copy paste and you can run this one once you will run you can see this is the current working directory path so using system dot get property and inside if you pass user dot dir that means user directory you will get the exact user directory location now our file is inside src and this is the file name so what you can do just you can use plus sign and double quotes and keep the file location at src abc.txt so now if you run you can see we are getting the file location in case if the file location is wrong then definitely will get an error during the byte array conversion so what you can do now we'll try to convert this file into byte array so first of all we need to declare one byte array so i can give the variable name here as byte data and how you can convert we have to use one class that class name is your files and it will come from java.neo package so here we are going to use read all bytes and inside we have to pass the path so you can see this is the path class it is not like a string variable so we have to convert this location into path just use your paths dot get here you can pass the file location so using that what will be happen it will try to read all the file data from this location and using this function it will try to convert into byte array so here you can see it is showing red color because we are performing one file operation so we have to use try catch or we have to declare one throw exception so here we are going to use try and catch so now you can see we are not getting any error but make sure the path is correct otherwise you will get an error so let's try to verify our code is correct or not so just use here this out that means system dot out print ln and what you can do here just use here arrays dot to a string and you can pass the byte data so if our code is correct then definitely we will get some data inside the console so let's run so you can see we are getting the data as a byte array that means our code is perfect so in case if you put some random thing like wrong data what will be happen you will get an error like no such file available so you have to make sure like the file is available at that location so in the next tutorial we are going to convert the byte array to the file like just reverse of this code that's it for the day bye